everyone, this is Gary Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com. I want to welcome you to episode 6 of the Create Challenge. In this month, we're going to focus on advancing our story through the use of technique. So up until now, we've been looking through our photos, we've been planning out what we want our project to be, and we've been deciding on what kind of story we want to tell. This month, we're looking more at how do we want to tell that story. And it's not just enough to have an idea for a photo. We want to plan out what kind of techniques that we could use to enhance our story. So what I'd like you to do is to explore some different photographic techniques. Try to find one that could apply to the story you're trying to tell. And then go out and research it, go out and practice it and then see if you can apply it to your personal project. So let's head over to a website that's got a list of some techniques. And you know, of course, this is not a complete list, but it gives you some ideas to get started and uh, see if you find anything that could be of interest to you. Okay, so I just did a search for photography techniques and ended up on this website. And um, they had a lot of great ideas. Uh, the first one, high speed photography. So through the use of uh, speed lights and triggers and things like that, maybe if your project involves some sort of action, uh, that could be useful. Uh, there's uh, tilt shift photography. If you happen to have a tilt shift camera or I mean tilt shift lens, or um, you could uh, look into something like a lens baby. Um, of course, black and white photography. This month, I am also happen to be running a black and white photography challenge. If you want to learn more about black and black and white photography, um, they also have uh, motion blur. This again is a great way to show motion. So if your project involves motion, you may want to try some blurring techniques. Um, infrared photography. This is something I explored a little bit uh, this past summer with a uh, infrared filter. You can use a filter or you can have your camera converted. Night photography, also a lot of fun. You can shoot, um, of course, buildings or stars or the moon or all kinds of great night subjects. It opens up a whole new world of photography to you. Um, smoke photography, you can do this right in the house. Just get some candles or some incense and set up a little studio shot. Practice getting different patterns in the smoke. It's a lot of fun. Macro photography, of course, you, uh, you would use some sort of a macro lens or diopter or extension tubes to capture up close images. And what else? HDR photography, that's high dynamic range photography. That's anytime you capture multiple images at different exposures and then use the software to put them together. Uh, raw processing, I don't know, that's not so much a photographic technique, but certainly if you process a raw file, it will help you to get better images. Panoramic photos. If you like landscapes, that's a great technique to try. There are tons of great techniques that you could research and apply to your photography and it will make your project much better. So I'd like to see you try some new technique this month and to post some images. Again, this has been Garrity Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com.